different vehicles. Holy fuck! <laughs> Dude, his car rips so bad. <laughs> So this is the aux beam headlight system. These are the LED bulbs. Uh, I recently started using these. Most I had a lot of HID systems, and they're nice and stuff. But these are so much more simpler. They came a long way. Uh, and so I, this is my uh, GTO. I literally had to take like everything apart and put it everything back together. These headlights are not correctly adjusted. So, I got a big turn coming up here. Should we try some drifting? Ah, but with the HIDs, I had a lot of problems with them and they flicker and, you know, these, I've been using them on different vehicles. Holy fuck! <laughs> Dude, this car rips so bad. <laughs> well, let me get back. What was I saying? Back to headlights. <laughs> so yeah, I recently switched to, let me put the window up, it's loud in here. Okay, headlights, headlights. Yeah, I recently switched to LED bulbs and I really like them. So that's low beam, that's high beam. These are the 14,000 lumen. They're for off-road use only, but guess what? I'm on the fucking road. Move on, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, please. So, I don't know what happened there, but yeah, we're on the road with them. And you can see how bright they are. Super bright. They came a long way. The old LEDs were shit. And the new cheap ones, like you buy on eBay and stuff, they're still shit. Uh, these come with their canvas. Sorry. Ugh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Stick shift life. Uh, these come with a built-in canvas system, so you don't get no flickers, uh, no distortion in the beam at all. Like, I have never had a problem with these. And for the price point, like, cheap LEDs are $30 for two. Like, these are at least double, but they are absolutely worth it. Uh, these are the H1 bulbs. I um, can't remember what uh, the GTO actually came with. I, like I said, I had HID H1s in here. So I just got H1 LEDs. So this has four four bulbs. <clears throat> so it was, I think they're $69, 60, between 120 and 140 for the bulbs. Uh, generally, you don't have to worry about them. They have a very good cooling system on them. They have nice fans. Uh, heavy duty construction and yeah they're definitely worth it I think the HIDs man I think they're a little bit brighter but not much and these are way more reliable way easier to put in uh, they're a little bigger compared to HID or regular ones because you have your big heat sink and then a big cooling fan on the back and you gotta watch for the heat the HIDs they get hot but these do get hot and these are a 70 watt bulb. I feel bad for these people. I mean, it's not bad. There's still a little adjustment. High beams need to be higher, low beams need to be lower, but such as putting shit together in a hurry and just, just going with it. Uh, but I really like them. Very simple. On my Ram, I think it was, I bought new headlights and they came with cheap LED bulbs and they would just flicker and carry on they were god awful terrible and i didn't really expect much from them the guy actually gave me like 30 bucks back he said that was valuable so i bought aux beam bulbs for it and i think they're the 903 series the, the dual beam series uh and it was it works great man it does a flicker the high and low beams are really consistent and i was yeah i was really impressed with it so i started running them in different vehicles and I needed some bulbs for this and their shipping was super fast it got there I, I want to say I ordered Friday and it was there like Monday or Tuesday it was it was fast uh, they have a bunch of different bulbs they have cheaper ones there too if you need to save a little bit of money 
I'm a big headlight guy. I like to I like to fucking blind people. So, like I said, we're just out in country riding around here, and yeah, you can see they work good. So that's just my opinion on them. I'm not paid to say anything. I don't not paid to fucking do anything anymore. So that's my.